in pre-production, the, f- the place to start for a producer is um, having a final script. Uh, any number of writers keep writing right to the last possible moment, but as close to final script as you can so that you can actually analyse it in a really practical way, analyse how many minutes it is, um, how many it's minutes you want to end up on the screen and then you work out how many days it's going to take what is what are the resources how many places do you have to go um, how many people do you need how what are your cast so you, you know what's the most efficient way of using everything um, so the more planning you can do there that helps you to budget you can't budget until you have an idea about your screen time and your days and the crew and the cast you're going to need the one thing to think about pre-production is that there's no such thing as too much pre-production. If you only plan for what you think is going to happen, you haven't planned for enough. You have to plan for all of those things that you don't think are going to happen. If it rains, if somebody gets sick, if somebody breaks a leg, if the story gets eaten by your dog, you need to have everything ready for anything possibly that could possibly go wrong. Have a plan for it because then you'll look like a superhero when it happens and your movie will be better than it would have been if you're just flailing around. If you can plan, that's your time of, you know, just working with people and paper and sketches and things. The more you plan, the more efficient you can be in production um, with your time and with your people. And when you don't have much money, you have to be really, really respectful of People. Planning for any film, and that includes short films, is, is taking the script and simply dividing it up into the necessary um, sections for, for different staff members, different crew, to take their roles on. For instance, you have a, a script supervisor who takes care of the script and makes sure it's stuck to. You have an art department, so they will take the script and break out all the props and scenery they needed in that. Time, people, money and equipment. So, you know, you need to balance those and, as I say, when you don't have um, money, you need to really look after time and people. Being very careful with your resources and, and that includes the favours and the friends you ask to help in the short film. So taking stock of what you have available and how you can best use that to make your short film is probably the advice I'd give, um, is just planning. Planning is, is good, especially if you've got a very short time to shoot, which short films usually do. They're on weekends, they're in the spare hours, so plan all you can, this would be my, uh, my advice.